Hey guys, just Asia here, and so I wanted to talk about disappointment. So let's uh, say something for example. Um, see, <clears throat> I enjoy meeting new people, and I especially enjoy, you know, especially making friends. So usually it's uh, strange for me to talk to people. I'll try to have conversation whenever I can, but then again, it's uh, it's weird. Um, it's, uh, most things tend not to go too far, which is okay. I learned to accept it. Like, um, not that most people, I mean, most people aren't worth fighting for, but then again, it's like, once you meet that person or once you get to know about one person, you'll begin to understand them and you'll see the value in them. But, you know, for me, um, it's been weird, but those are one of my disappointments and I used to be really hard on myself about it and well in my opinion when it comes to disappointment as well as like my friend she's been going through some things and talking about it and discussing about it and you know she's always like I'm disappointed I should have done this and that and I'm like hey hey you shut up there and give us some time because that's just life and Life has a strange way of uh, steering us to many places because, you know, even though disappointment's there, I feel like that's uh, that's one of the main motivators of, you know, us getting somewhere because you can't tell me that that one dude who wanted to build a literal war road and, like, you know, turn it into much more than a mud road. You, you can't tell me that, like, he didn't, he didn't have trial and error. I mean, everybody has trial and error, and I think that's the most beautiful part about life and that's eventually something we'll probably lose as like we have more technology built uh it's it's important for us to have you know disappointments and failures and stuff like that because you know we won't learn or we won't discover or we won't be able to build ourselves and i feel like you know there are a couple of stages which like you know we get we begin to look at disappointment as a bad thing or something that's disgusting and you know first is something that we may want to do and you know we really want to do this thing but we feel like it's a bit too hard and then uh after that stage we try it and then you know we're like okay it's kind of hard but hey it's okay but then we just drop the ball and then, you know, that ball is just, just sitting there and we're not trying to pick it up and throw it again. We're just tired of it. We're just sick of looking at it. But And then the fourth stage is just letting time go by. You just leave the ball there and the ball is just, it's still nice. It's still a nice ball, but you get older and it gets harder for you to throw the ball just because you didn't want to throw it. So I guess in a sense, uh, when it comes to, you know, disappointment is something, it, disappointments are never there to make you hate yourself. It's, it's something that's there to motivate you and it's something for you to mold and change because, you know, it's like we tend to overfill our like bowl full, bowls full of disappointment and Disappointment is never wanted. De disappointment is never meant to, you know, just fill up. It's, it's just there as a reminder of why you're existing and living. And, you know, I hope someone out there is, you know, taking this shit because, hey, I, shoot, I honestly wanted to do this for a long time. You know, just make a video, or just make a video that's worthwhile and meaningful because, you know, it's a. Uh, it's kind of hard to just uh, want to make videos because I tend to uh, wonder like who's gonna <clears throat> who's gonna watch this or why am I making this or why am I doing this I tend to wonder about that a lot but you know I just I learned to just kind of just shove it out of the way just shut up bitch and you know just just let me just let me just do my thing oh if I want to like try my hardest I will and I want to start doing that I want to start learning more about video creation and no I want to learn more about myself and how I want to create videos 
I want to be able to put my value into these videos and especially just, you know, not not feel so disappointed about myself just because I make, make certain videos, you know. But I feel like uh, I had this thing, I had this message in my mind. It's, uh, it's like the, the thing I said, we should never over overflow our buckets full of disappointment because disappointment is something that which is supposed to motivate us. It's a positive sign rather than, you know, just, you know, always like just instead of just having it for something just to you know just dwell in and just develop into something ugly which is never meant to be but you know you gotta stay cool uh, this is the end of the video but i hope you appreciate this and i hope some some way and somehow you're so you're able to take something from this you know but uh yeah you gotta stay cool peace